Yeah, so talking to Brock from Upon World and Brilliant Local Metal, uh, we've got two massive gigs to talk about first. Yeah, first, I want to jump into, uh, for those of you who've been living under a rock for a while and haven't heard of Upon World's End, um, how are you guys doing and what are you guys up to? Well, first of all, Fraser, I'd like to say thank you for having me on the show once again. I uh, love time. being on Double Kick. <laughs> it is an absolutely amazing show. Um, currently, we are gearing up for Saturday night at Corova Lounge for Amber Eyes. So this is this is a show that um, Ballarat legend Frosty has set up once again. He is absolutely amazing with how he sets these shows up. Yes. Um, Amber Eyes returned to Ballarat the last time they were here in Ballarat when they headlined, and we opened for them. It was a phenomenal show. Amber Eyes are just one of the tightest bands I have seen live. They're phenomenal. Um, I can't speak highly enough for them. They, they treated us very well on that show and helped us out when some gear stuff sort of went down and we had a little couple of tech issues and whatnot oh, and they helped us right. out immensely. Yes. Um, as well as Ballarat Hardcore Band Anticline, these guys are going to be something amazing. They played, they played at Ballarat not too long ago with The Ascended and a few other bands and mm. packed the house. Okay. They are absolutely phenomenal. And and like I know a few of the guys in Andy Klein there, a couple of members were from um, uh, Evan Ivory and Winfield, so they've just basically joined forces and, and performed this hardcore band. They're absolutely phenomenal. As well as Nerve. Nerve is... That, that's pretty much it. It'll strike a nerve with you, and they <laughs> are that good. Um, I've had the, the pleasure of... Um, Knowing uh, the vocalist Ryan and the guitarist AJ for a number of years, they they used to perform in a band called The Arbiter a while ago. Um, stellar guys, awesome band. Can't wait for them to bring the grooves to Corova. And what better way to start off the show than with Haunted Steel? I mean, come on, them guys are awesome. They are crazy. Um, and of course, yours truly and Upon World's End will be there. We'll be laying down the beats and we'll be kicking some ass like we try to do every sh every show. And it's going to be an amazing show. It, it's um, the perfect place to have it at Corova. It's a Saturday night. It's Easter long weekend. We've got everybody here. Let's just pound some beers, get nutty, and have some fun. It's a good way to celebrate, really, the long weekend. Chocolate, beer, I don't see a better combination. <laughs> I like it. Uh, yeah, just local metal at its uh, very best. And yeah, absolutely stand by, uh, Amber Eyes. Yeah, the Geelong boys are bringing some seriously good metal with them. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they've, they've not long uh, released their, their, their album EP, uh, which they're on tour for when we played with them last time at, at Corova. Mm. And they just keep, keep bringing it. They, they just... I can't, as I said, I can't speak highly enough for them. They're an amazing bunch of guys. They've got a brilliant sound. They're heading in the right direction, and I just cannot wait to see what comes for them. Absolutely. Uh, and this isn't your only news of the week. It's a big week for you guys. Uh, yeah, King Parrot's regional Rampage Tour has added more dates, and they've put you on the Ballarat bill. Uh, yeah, we, we, were, we were absolutely shocked with that. Um, when, it, when we were speaking to Youngie not too long ago, uh, when they played down at 170 Russell on the uh, Ugly Produce tour, yes. um, he, he had spoken to us about it, and as soon as he mentioned the thing, I was like, dude, absolutely, hell yes, we'll be on that show no matter what. It's a big step for us, and such it come at such an amazing time, because this was around the time when um, the Once Human show got cancelled. Yes, yes. So that was we were... Way. We're all amped up for one tune, and you know, and, and as things go, sometimes things don't go your way, and we, mm. we sort of took a back step and went, okay, maybe we should um, take some time off. Um, we've been talking about this EP now for quite a long time. Let's get it sorted. And then Young, mate, Young King Parrot, he hit me up and went, we're coming, we're playing Ballarat, we want you on the show, and we were just blown away. Matt Young and the King Parrot guys are amazing people. And they, they look after local bands and they, mm. they try and give the best show they possibly can. And I cannot give it up for them guys enough. Absolutely. They are doing wonders for the uh, Australian music scene in general as well as... Well, they're kicking ass overseas as well. So they're doing a lot of things. And uh, yeah, definitely with a regional rampage tour, these guys are going to absolutely bring it. Well, we're going to try our hardest. I mean, that's their main goal every time we get up on that stage to... to play our hearts out and to show people that hey we're here 
and we're only going to get better and we're only going to get stronger with our material. And speaking of material, there's a little sneaky hint that EP is right around the corner, my friends. Oh, that's what I want to hear. We haven't got a release date on anything yet, uh, but I'll give you probably a five-month timeline, maybe a four-month. Feeling lenient. Now you're teasing. Yeah, now you're teasing. Uh, man, I have been pestering Frosty all year, and he's been teasing the crap out of me for uh, Fall and Resist's new album, and now uh, this one coming out. This is just this is a good year for metal, and a great year for local Ballarat metal. Absolutely, uh, the the guys in Fall and Resist they always bring it, and um, I can't wait to hear their, their newer stuff. And yeah. um, you know, it, it's it, both bands are at a point now, Fall and Resist and Upon Worlds End, where we need to bring it. There are so many good bands that are that are fronting up out of the you know out of nowhere. You know, sort of like Amber Eyes, Horned Steel, Nerve. Um, I can throw out a, a um, few more bands if they actually come to me, <laughs> but they will. Um, Andy Klein, Evan Ivory's gearing up again. Mm. It's going to become a very crowded scene here in Ballarat, and and that's what we want. We want bands Absolutely. all the time in Ballarat. Bring the metal. Bring the heat. So, both form resist and upon the exam, we're in a position where, all right, let's get some material out. Let's hit it up. Let's give people some new stuff. Let's pump out some more shows. And um, the, the best part is, well, for us, for upon the exam, anyway, is that um, we have Ben from form resist currently filling in for us on the drums, and he is, oh, he's a machine. Yes. I can, I can <laughs> understand why Fall and Resist are as tight and as huge as they are. That guy, Ben, he is an absolute machine and he's um, really made us step our game up in terms of tightness and in terms of songwriting and ability. Uh, he's awesome. So big shout out for Ben for being able to do double duty in two bands. Mm. It's absolutely am- amazing. That is no easy feat. So what are we, like, we've got oh, two shows almost, well, not back to back, but damn close to each other. Are we going to see the same Upon World's End both times? I can guarantee you we'll see the same Upon World's End 2 both times. But the Upon World's End now is a little different to the last time we uh, we played with Amber Eyes and the last time we, we got on a steady run of shows. Um, we've had some member changes. Um, unfortunately, our last guitarist, he uh, had to go and fill, fulfill some work commitments and was unable to continue with us, and uh, we wish him all the best. Mm. So our drummer, Kai, he stepped on the guitar for us. And... <laughs> My God, can that kid wail on a guitar? He is absolutely amazing. When 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 he started playing guitar for us in practice space, we're like, w- where did this come from? You know, he is absolutely amazing. As well as he's he's recording our stuff too. So um, he's a phenomenal mixer. He's a phenomenal recording engineer. So any bar bands that, that want their stuff recorded and want good quality, get a Pond Worlds end up and go for Kai. That's where your money's at. Just a just a quick little um, promotional drop for Kaya. <laughs> I like it. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, definitely a big fan of Kaya, but did not know he was that talented. Damn, that's um that's mighty impressive. Well, I mean, for him to go from drums to playing the stuff that we do to uh, playing guitar for us and, and uh, not only playing guitar for us, he's brought in so much material writing-wise. I mean... The stuff he comes up with sometimes can get challenging for me to play, but the old dogs refuse to bow down sometimes, and <laughs> I'll try and keep up as much as I can. But no, absolutely enjoying the direction that Apollo is then going in with uh, now Kai on the helm on guitar and um, with Ben filling in for us. Apparently, things are sound absolutely amazing, the tightest we've ever sounded. So we'll bring our A game on Saturday night with the Amber Eyes show, and um, we'll bring the A plus game in Paratrack. <laughs> Well, Show yeah, them the got... Ballarat's oh, not a place to be messed with. That's the one. I love it. Uh, well, yeah, I'll say again. Amber Eyes this Saturday, uh, Carova Lounge, with Anticline, Upon Worlds, and Nerve, and Haunted Steel. And then the King Parrot Show is April 25th with Child Bite, Black Jesus, and Upon Worlds. And, man, are you just psyched with how this like couple of months is going? Is this just a major kick in the ass for you? <laughs> There's a kick in the ass, and then there's lighting a flare up one's ass, and, that, <laughs> and that, that's what we're, that's what it's doing for us. You know, this is what we wanted from 
this is what we wanted from day one um, a year ago when we played our first show at Beyond Black. Um, and also had the honour of, on our one-year anniversary, of being, uh, playing shows live, we got to do Beyond Black too. And we just set a goal going into this year that we want to play for some of the biggest bands we possibly can. We want to head down to Melbourne. We want to head into like Adelaide and Sydney. We want to get our name out there a little bit more. So apart from the EP coming out, we've got we've just done a run of merch. So there's merchandise available at our shows and stickers and whatnot. Oh, We're just yeah. trying every avenue we can to, to get the name out there, make it a staple. And what better way for us to do it with guys like Ambrose, Anticline, Nerve, Haunted Steel, as well as with two house call record bands. For those that don't know who house call records is, <laughs> that is Phil Anselmo's label, my friend. Oh. And that is King Parrot and Child Bite. So that show for us is huge. We want to show these two bands that, hey, we're here, we're local, we're Aussie, we're ready to bring the heat, we're bringing the fire, here we are. And it, it did light a flare up our ass, it did kick us in the ass, it did make us go, shit, we, we want to make something of ourselves, we want to get down and do the Melbourne shows and interstate. We need to bring our A game at every single show. So for the people that have seen us you know, last year, all those standards would be on Black 2 this year. We're going to be very present, pleasantly surprised with what we've got to offer. We've added a few more songs to the set list that we, we played at uh, Beyond Black 2. A few people haven't heard these yet, so make sure you come on down to Corova this week and hear our new stuff and get ready and get amped for the EP release coming to you soon. This is sounding amazing, man. You don't even need me. That is a solid promotional stint right there. <laughs> I try. I do, I do try. I mean, I, I do sit sometimes in in my music group and ponder about promoting. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah, it's all good. You know, the words just blow out of my mouth. That's perfect. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. One question we ask uh, every band we talk to is: If you had the, all the power in the world to tour with anybody, past or present, who would it be? Oh Jesus! I think the last time I was on here, I said hands down Pantera and hands down Die Out is Murder. Oof. That's a hell of a show. Yeah. No one is going to complain about that show. It would be a phenomenal show. Oh. We'd have to literally bring an A-plus plus game <laughs> to that one. Yeah, that's that's next level. That is, uh, that's more than a flare up the ass. But definitely right now, uh, uh, to promote once more, King Park, which is happening. <laughs> They're filling the dream. I love it. I don't think we've had that uh, before. That's amazing. Absolutely, man. We've, we're all big fans of King Parrot, and yes. from the first time I seen him in Ballarat in 2011, it was just uh, one day I'll share a stage with these guys, and it's happening. So, and one more band I think I could throw in there, Five Valiance. Ooh, now that yeah. they come back and just done a recent show at the Benny yeah. Hotel in, in Brunswick, love nothing more to get on a show with Ival. They are absolutely amazing. Well, the way your guys are going, that is totally doable. Uh, they are fantastic guys, and yeah, mental on stage. So, yeah, go for it. Hey, one can dream, one can hope, yeah. one can wish. So let's see if we can get that one in the books as well as the King Power one. Absolutely. Uh, right. Oh, thanks, man. I'll say again, this Saturday night, Corova Lounge Ballarat. With you guys, Amber Eyes, Anticline Nerve, Haunted Steel, and then the biggie, King Parrot, April 25th, with Child Bite, Black Jesus, and Upon World's End. Oh man, this is just, it's going to be a good couple of months. Absolutely can't wait. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Uh, thanks, mate. All right, mate. Bye. All right, bye.